On this battlefield, man has no better weapon than his intelligence, no other force but his heart. He who does not know how to look back at where he came from will never get to his destination. To foretell the destiny of a nation, it is necessary to open a book that tells of her past. Filipinos don't realize that victory is the child of struggle, that joy blossoms from suffering, and redemption is a product of sacrifice. I do not write for this generation, I am writing for other ages, if this could read me, they would burn my books, the work of my whole life, on the other hand, the generation which interprets these writings will be an educated generation, they will understand me and say, not all were asleep in the night time of our grandparents. I want to show to those who deprive people the right to love of country, that when we know how to sacrifice ourselves for our duties and convictions, death does not matter if one dies for those one loves for his country and for others dear to him. I have to believe much in God because I have lost my faith in man. I die without seeing dawn's light shining on my country. You, who will see it, welcome it for me, don't forget those who fell during the night time. Treat your old parents as you would like to be treated by your children later. Ignorance is servitude, because as a man thinks, so he is a man who does not think for himself and allows himself to be guided by the thought of another, is like the beast led by a halter. No good water comes from a muddy spring, no sweet fruit comes from a bitter seed. Genius has no country, it blossoms everywhere. Genius is like the light, the air, it is the heritage of all. It is enough for the evil people to succeed, for the good people to do nothing. He, who would love much has also much to suffer. One only dies once, and if one does not die well, a good opportunity is lost and will not present itself again. To be happy does not mean to indulge in foolishness. Our liberty will not be secured at the sword's point, we must secure it by making ourselves worthy of it, and when the people reaches that height, God will provide a weapon, the idols will be shattered, tyranny will crumble like a house of cards, and liberty will shine out like the first dawn. Who does not love his own tongue is far worse than a brute or stinking fish. To live is to be among men, and to be among men is to struggle, a struggle not only with them but with oneself, with their passions, but also with one's own. Law has no skin, reason has no nostrils. The example could encourage others who only fear to start. I go where there are no slaves, hangmen or oppressors, where faith does not kill, where the one who reigns is God. Travel is a caprice in childhood, a passion in youth, a necessity in manhood, and an elegy in old age. I can concede that the government has no knowledge of the people, but I believe the people know less of the government, there are useless officials, evil, if you like, but there are also good ones, and these are not able to accomplish anything because they encounter an inert mass, the population that takes little part in matters that concern them.